Once you've powered down the tablet, the back housing will need to be removed. This can be done by prying between the housing and the silver bezel around all sides of the tablet. Once you've unclipped most of the housing, you should be able to carefully pull it off the rest of the way. Now that the back housing is off, the battery will need to be unclipped. This can be done by first removing the piece of tape on top of the clip. The clip can be removed by carefully lifting up on the wires for the battery until you're able to slide a tool underneath the plastic clip itself and lift it out. The flex cable for the digitizer can then be removed as well. The tape covering it will need to be taken off before pushing the butterfly clip up and pulling the flex out. You can now begin to heat the glass up. Listed on the screen now are a few known ways to safely heat the glass. After the tablet has been adequately heated, you'll want to slide an opening tool in between the glass and the frame. Then once you're able to get the tool in there, you'll want to swap it out for a plastic tool of some sort, as the metal can easily crack the glass further. While removing the glass, if you're not able to get a plastic tool underneath the glass because the glass is cracked into little pieces, you'll want to remove the smaller pieces before removing the center piece of glass that contains the digitizer. This process makes removing the glass safer as you're less likely to damage the LCD with the little pieces of glass. You can continue to separate the glass from the tablet along the top and both sides, but you'll want to be careful on the top right side as the flex for the digitizer runs through the housing there. When approaching the bottom section of the glass, you'll want to be careful around the area of the home button as well. While separating the glass from the tab, if you notice that it becomes harder to separate the two, apply a little more heat to loosen up the adhesive more. Once the adhesive is loose enough, you should be able to open the tablet from the bottom, folding it upwards. After the glass is removed, you'll need to scrape away any remaining glass shards and adhesive from the housing to ensure that the new adhesive sticks to it properly. When the adhesive has been mostly scraped up, if the new glass didn't come with any new adhesive, you'll want to put new adhesive directly on the housing itself. When applying the adhesive, you'll need to avoid placing it on top of exposed flex cables or sensors, as that would create problems should you ever need to open it again for whatever reason. After the adhesive has been applied, the LCD will need to be cleaned before laying the glass in. After cleaning the LCD, I like to use scotch tape to remove any lingering dust that may be on the screen before laying the glass in.
The flex for the digitizer can now be slid through the housing to the other side and the glass can be set in completely. Once the glass is sitting in flat, the flex for the digitizer can be slid into the butterfly clip and the battery can be clipped back in as well. Finally, the back housing can be clipped back onto the mid frame along the outside, completing the repair.